Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to withdraw KuCoin to your MetaMask wallet. In this video, we're talking about the KuCoin community chain. For the first time ever, you're able to withdraw KuCoin directly to your MetaMask wallet on the KuCoin community chain. So if you're familiar with, there's a Binance Smart Chain, there's a Matic or Polygon network that you can add to your MetaMask wallet. I previously did a video. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it above. You can, up here, you can take a look at it. You can see that now I have the KCC KuCoin community chain so I'm going to show you how you get these KuCoin. How do you actually withdraw them to your MetaMask wallet? You have to have a KuCoin exchange account. There's no other way at this point in time to be able to get the KCS token or the KuCoin token. So if you don't have an exchange account, I'll put a link in the description. You can go ahead and set it up. You'll be supporting this channel if you use that link. All you have to do is go down below. You'll see this right here, set up a KuCoin account. Just click on it. You'll be able to walk through and set up your account. Once you have your account set up, you can, there are ways to be able to deposit fiat on KuCoin, but it requires a lot more verification, KYC, AML, that sort of thing. But you can also transfer crypto into KuCoin. I'm gonna show you two different ways to be able to do this. If you have Polygon or Matic tokens, and you want to send them to KuCoin, it's actually quite easy to be able to buy KuCoin. If you have crypto on the Binance exchange or some other exchange, you can transfer crypto directly into KuCoin there as well. Once inside of KuCoin, you can buy the, the KuCoin token. However, it's not quite as straightforward as it should be. Don't worry about it. If you're not familiar with KuCoin, I'm going to show you everything in this video. And then we're going to withdraw it to our MetaMask at the end. First things first, at this very moment, I do not have but like point nine KCS in here. So I need to get some more. What I can do is I can come over here to my wallet and let's go to Matic. So I have 521 Matic tokens. I'm going to send over about 520 to my KuCoin account. So I have Matic and I needed to deposit into my account. So what I'll do is I'll come up here and I'll just type in Matic. Once it comes up, I just click deposit. It says Matic on Polygon. That's very, very important. If you have Matic tokens on the Binance exchange, those are ERC20 tokens right here. That's what you would choose. If you have Matic on the Polygon network in MetaMask, you're on the Matic network or the Polygon network. Make certain that you choose the right one. Do not get confused. If you're sending over Matic from Binance, you're gonna choose ERC20. If you're sending over Matic, from your wallet, you're gonna make certain that you choose the Matic tokens, the wallet being on the MetaMask wallet. Go to main account. I'm just gonna to try to keep this simple. You copy the address, come over here. Never click max, because if you click max, it's gonna send everything and you always need some Matic in your wallet for transaction fees. Click next. I always like to double check my address just in case the first few letters, the last few letters, just to spot check it. Okay, that should get sent. It's not gonna take very long at all. Transaction confirmed. Should show up here in my wallet pretty quickly. One of the things we can do is come here and check really quickly. We'll see Matic. Oh, it's not here yet. We can come to deposit withdrawal history. It says completed. So it probably just went through. If it didn't say completed, it would say pending or in progress. So let's go check. It's probably back there right now. Let's refresh the page. There we go. So now what we need to do once we have Matic here is we need to move this over to our trading account. And we could have just transferred into the trading account. I just wanted to be simple. So we'll click confirm. This is the trading account. Now we're gonna go to trading account. We have Matic here. We're gonna click trade. We're gonna have to trade it for USDT or BTC, but we'll just do USDT. And then we'll go from USDT to KuCoin. Okay, so we're gonna enter in our six digit password here. We made that when we set up our account. Now we're going to trade. We'll just do a market order, best market price. We wanna sell Matic. Sell 100%, click sell. Order's placed. That's probably went through. And now we're gonna come back up here 
and we're going to choose KCS. And okay, now we want to buy KCS. So we are going to say max buy KCS tokens. We got a market buy. So now if we go back to our balance, You can also go to asset overview. That's just another view of your account. It's in our trading account. I wasn't thinking about that. So now I need to transfer it back from, this is a part that's a little bit confusing how they have separate accounts like this. Transfer this way, trading account to main account. KCS, confirm. Now we've got it coming over to our main account. So now if we were to go back, we could probably refresh the screen. This is showing our account value is already up there. This is our account value. Go to assets, main account, and we can see that we have the KCS tokens. Now I'm going to show you how to use, if you have purchased crypto on another exchange, say Binance, how would you do it? It was very similar. You just come over here to Binance. Let's just say we want, um, we got some BNB over here. We are going to withdraw the BNB. So, so I have a couple of BNB right here. Let's just say we're going to withdraw one. Now on Binance, you have BEP2 tokens on Binance.us. By the way, if you don't have a Binance account and you want to set one up, I have a link in the description. I use Binance for all of my bot trading. They have really good trading fees. It works well with our bots where KuCoin does not. Um, so I use Binance all the time. This is my primary centralized exchange. There's a link in the description. Again, you'll be still reporting the channel if you use that link. Transfer directly into KuCoin. The way you do that is come here. Go to assets, main account. Once you get to the main account, let's say BNB. BNB is really fast. It's good to transfer. So we're going to deposit BNB. You got to pay attention right here. Main account. They're saying, please specify both memo and address to deposit on mainnet tokens. Click continue. Enter both memo and address to deposit BNB to your account. They're talking about the mainnet. That's important. Now, I want you to pay, this is the memo. I will need to make certain I include the memo. This is not unusual. If you dealt with BNB at all, you know this. This is for BEP2. So if I'm coming from Binance.us, I can only get BEP2 tokens on Binance.us. Now, if you're on Binance.com, you may have access to either one of these. If you have the Binance Smart Chain on your wallet and you're over here and you have Binance Smart Chain. This is BEP20 tokens or BSC Binance tokens. So just keep that in mind. You got to make certain that you're choosing the right tokens. Coming from Binance.us, the exchange, those are always going to be BEP2 tokens. Here's what I do. I just hit copy, put this in notepad, and then I will copy the memo as well. Put this in notepad, and then I'll go over to Binance. I'm going to withdraw one token, and it is a BEP token. So I'm probably going to have to add this as a white label address. It's not hard. Add white label address, select coin, BNB. Even though they show that you can select the BEP20 tokens, when you go to actually withdraw, they don't allow you to do that. So you have to choose in the US BEP2 tokens. Wallet label, we'll just say, in this case, KuCoin. Address is right here. Same one we have here. Copy that. The memo. If I click over to the KuCoin website, it would this pop-up would go down and I would have to re-enter my wallet address. So that's why I put it in the notepad. Add to whitelist, click submit. Google Authenticator. Sometimes they ask you to check your um, email, but this is just telling me Google Authenticator. There we go. We're going to whitelist it. They're going to ask me for the Google Authenticator again. I have to wait for a new code to come up, so bear with me. They sent me a confirmation email, so I'll check that. Successfully added to whitelist. Now that we've su successfully added to whitelist, we should be able to go back, go to balance, go to BNB, withdraw. Now we're here. We'll choose the address, 
That's the KuCoin address. The memo's in there automatically, which is great. We're gonna choose one to withdraw. Click Submit, Google Authenticator. Go to Email and Verify. We'll withdraw confirmed. So now that should go over to KuCoin. We'll give it a few minutes to get a KuCoin. It shouldn't take it more than a couple of minutes. Once it's in KuCoin, we'll buy some more KCS, and then we'll transfer all that KCS over to MetaMask, and I'll show you how to do that. But again, again keep in mind, you need to be able to have, you have to have the KCC network added to MetaMask. If you've not seen, it's super simple. It is, I mean, it is so easy to add. If you've not seen that video, I'll link it above. I'll put it in the description. Make sure you watch that video. It was the very first video that was a part of this actual playlist. Let's go over to KuCoin. Let's just see if we have our BNB there yet. We don't have our BNB yet, so we can come over here to deposit and withdraw history. Let's just see if it's showing up yet. It's not here yet. We'll give it a few minutes. It will pop up here in a moment, and then it will complete. I'll just refresh the screen. All right, I had the video pause and it said assets have arrived. They didn't even show them up here as pending. Let's just see if they show up yet. That did not even take 60 seconds. I paused the video. And it says it's already completed. I recommend that you never transfer an Ethereum-based product because it takes too long and it costs entirely too much. BNB, even the BEP2 or the BEP20 tokens transfer very, very quickly. So now what we want to do is go back to main account. We've got to convert BNB over to our trading account. Main account to trading account, BNB. Yep, we're going to do all that. And now we're going to go to a trading account. And we are going to trade. And we can trade BNB directly for KCS. So that's awesome. So we want to sell BNB buy kcs we're going to do a market 100 percent sell bnb okay so now we completed now we have now we have to go back and now we have to move the kcs from our trading account back over to our back over to our main account so we'll just click kcs Okay, so it took it a couple seconds to come and show up here, but now we'll just transfer this back to our, the transaction completed on the exchange side, but it didn't show up right here in our trading account. It did take it a minute. Um, it did take it about three or four seconds to show up here. I refreshed the page a couple of times. Click transfer, trading account to main account. Click all, confirm. There we go. Now we'll go back to main account. And we have 68 KuCoins here on the main account. Now, how do you transfer your KuCoin shares or your KuCoin tokens over to MetaMask? Actually, it's quite easy as long as you have the, the KCC, the KuCoin community chain loaded. You got to make certain you select the KuCoin community chain. Once you have it selected, you just come here to copy the account, do a withdraw, wallet address, make certain you choose KCC. There's the wallet address, select max, leave a uh, remark blank. And it says, we will process your withdrawal in 30 minutes. It depends on the blockchain. It's probably not gonna take 30 minutes. I would almost bet you anything. Probably not gonna take any time. Please confirm the withdrawal information. Withdrawal safety phrase. You can also add a safety phrase. I'm not worried about that. Confirm withdrawal. Asking for my security password. Send code to email verification. All right, that was the email code. Now I got to put in my two factor authentication. Lots of security. That's always a good thing. All right. And that should have now went through. Let's see how long it takes. And there they are. It didn't even take 15, 20 seconds to come through. And that's coming off of a centralized exchange. That is epic. Now we have our KuCoin here. If we wanted to 
come over here to coffee swap which is this one of the exchanges i'll be doing another video talking about exchanges talking about farming there's only one or two farms right now on the on the entire ecosystem so there none of this is considered financial advice but i'm going to be jumping into the ecosystem full force and as you can see i'm connected to the website I can buy, I can sell if I wanted to. There's actually not a lot of tokens to buy right now. This is a brand new ecosystem. Let's see what they have right here. If you just click select, they're showing three. That's all they're showing right now. It's a brand new ecosystem right now. And I'm gonna be jumping into it a little bit head first. Because we're in this ecosystem so early, because it is so similar to the Binance Smart Chain and the way that it works, because the community has focused on building it instead of just a KuCoin exchange, I think people will like that as well. Um, because it's similar to uh, Matic, but it's easier to onboard coming from an exchange. You don't have to worry about a complicated bridge. I think that a lot of people are going to like this. I think this ecosystem is going to, I think it has a lot more upward momentum. I'll be covering that more in depth in a future video. I got two more videos coming out. I'm going to be talking about the price prediction of the KuCoin token now that they have the KuCoin community chain. And I'm also going to put out a video showing you how to yield farm earning a thousand percent, 2000 percent APYs on some very, very new yield farms. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. If those videos aren't out yet, hit that bell notification icon, click all. So you'll be notified when those videos show up. If they're already out, video number three will be on your end screen where I start talking about the actual farming. So make certain you check that out. Look on the end screen. Look for a thumbnail talking about earning a thousand percent APY or two thousand percent APY on KuCoin or whatever. I'm going to be talking about some of the yield farms. Actually, only one that I'm aware of right now that exists on the KuCoin community chain. We are here early, ladies and gentlemen. We this is all part of the current crypto revolution that we are part of. We are here first. We are here early. We were some of the first people to buy Bitcoin. We were some of the first people to buy Ethereum. We were some of the first people to buy altcoins. We were some of the first people in decentralized finance, ladies and gentlemen. We are on this journey together. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Remember, decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. Until next time, I'm out.